with that, we'll move on to another fight. This is the city. This is probably the most interesting area. It also has the most infamous spirits of the game. Only at Wee Fit Chain was just outside drinking her smoothies. Just outside her own dojo. Let's uh, free her from Galeem's control. Make sure she doesn't work out too much. There's, you could, there is always an issue when you work out too much. Moderation is key. That's what Ring told me in Ring Fit Adventure. Come on, baby. That's all. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> I'm fit enough as it is, and Lee Fit Trainer joins the battle. Huzzah! We've got a lot of we got a lot of spiritual skills. We might as well use some of them now. Let's go see what we got. Real quick here. The skill tree. What do we got? We got 211 of things. How about we get our double final smash at long last? So now we can go somewhere else now. Critical health, critical hits up. I wouldn't want special power update because I'm using special powers more often than not. So maybe this is a good way to get across here. Meteor smashes on up. Yeah, we'll do that. And I don't think there are any skills that are worth 11 right now. So we'll have to hold off of there. But we now have double final smashes now. So when we actually get our final smash, we can get a second one almost immediately after. There are spirits that actually get you this uh, this ability passively, so bear that in mind too. We're getting just getting a lot more people showing up. We fit trainer, you are up because you are the new fighter. We'll give you a shot, though I know I didn't meant I didn't give Marth some love, but it was also a sword fighter. So let's continue with We Fit Model X from Mega Man ZX series, a game I have not played either. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna, that's gonna be another, that's gonna be the, the the running trend here. We fit trainer. Let's see how you can work these guys in submission. Exercise them to death using yoga. Ready? Go! Oh, yeah, I'm oh, she's graceful with her, with her items though. They use them as bats. Come on now. Soccer ball to the face. <laughs> Her down B is a way of a healing move, but it's very finicky to pull off. But if you do pull it off, you do get some health back, so bear that in mind. Tree pose. All of her moves are all exercise attacks or exercise moves. Which is weird that she did not. She does not appear in Ring Fit except for as a. Uh, Except for her music track, which is weird. You think Ring Fit would have had her in there as somewhat of a interesting fighter or interesting, you know, character to talk off to? It'd be really cool to bring her back, but she only exists now as a fighter and a, a fighter in a fighting game with her series long gone dead. That increases that. There, oh, there's a button up there too. In the Heart Lake, apparently. I guess we're good after that. We do need to go after that, that button. We have Panther Carso from Star Fox Assault and um, Command. He's not very liked in the uh, Star Fox franchise. As he tries to, you know, to, you know, sweet talk uh, Crystal. Kind of awkward, if you ask me, but, you know, I digress. I digress. Let's take this guy down with an animal. <laughs> Banjo, you're up. <laughs> you haven't got much love, Banjo. It's time for you to take down Wolf. A bear and a, a, bear and a, and a wolf. Now going at each other. <laughs> Ready? Go! Do, 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 do. Ah. Come on, Banjo, you got this. You think you can block me? <laughs> Banjo's like, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Briggle bash. All right, all right, Banjo, you can top that now. Yeah, there we go. He killed himself. Woo. <laughs> That's what you get <laughs> for being not a great fighter, or actually not a great space pirate or space fighter. 
of the Star of Star Wolf's team. With that on tow, Nia is up next. From the Fire Emblem franchise. I have no idea where she's from. <laughs> I have no idea where she's from. And since it is Fire Emblem, we might as well give Marf the love he deserves. He is the he is the poster child for the for the entire series. It's best to give him the fight uh, a spirit that is tied to his series, at least at long last. Let's go. Versus Nia. She's taking the form of the goddess Politana. As well as the Demon King Ganondorf of all things, too. That's interesting. Again, I don't know what's the context of the fight itself, so bear that in mind. Hold on. Oh, come on. Can I use Sword Dance or something? There we go. <laughs> Curry! <laughs> this is gonna be a fiery blast in my mouth. Why are you running away from me? Come on, Palutena. Nia, I know you're not much of a- I don't think you're much of a fighter. It looked like you were a priestess of some kind, so... Well, <laughs> so much for her. Poison damage reduced. Oh, she was mostly a healer. Okay. You are more than useful. You are very useful. Indeed you are. <sighs> Alright, well up next? We looks like we have another fire to unlock. Fox is here now. Fox is up. Let's see, who can we take Fox with? Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon. They're both space mercenaries, or bounty hunters, or some of that sort, so why not? Let's go. It really is sad that Star Fox Zero did not take off as it once did. Like I said, I'm going to get into Star Fox, but I gotta play the original first, and I gotta get more practice in that game. Route 3 is a pain in the backside, if you know what I mean. Though I do like I do like them some of the music tracks of Fox. So Corneria, at least the Well, this is technically Venom's theme, really, originally, and Star Fox for the SNES. Corton, uh, Corneria's theme from SNES Star Fox is actually really, really good. <laughs> I actually like that track a lot. That's all. The adventure of rescuing more fighters we can use to mess puppet fighters. They can't possibly win if we capture them all. With that, we press this button down. Of the Heart Lake. And the red barrier is gone, which means we just have to do is find the green barrier somewhere, and if we can get to the opposite side of the map. And that opens up a shortcut down that way. We'll do that later, though. Probably next session or something, because we want to clear up most of the cities we can. Hal Omeric. From Mirgio Solid. He's taking the form of Dr. Mario, huh? The demand an enemy fighter. The enemy tends to avoid contact, and the enemy is also metal. Well, we need to find something that we can take down metal with. Who can we use? Let's try... We'll give Joker some love. Joker. And we'll try Joker in his alternate form, which is not his uh, Phantom Thieves outfit. It's not of his, his casual outdoorsies type style. Let's try, uh, da, 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 da. there we go. Let's try it, Joker. Let's go. Dr. Mario's up. Hal and Eric from the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Apparently he was the one that somehow developed, uh, uh, the, the Metal Gear Solid, or the Metal Gear, uh, uh the contraptions, which are like moving, uh, like moving uh, uh, silos for uh, nuclear warfare, which is not the best, you know, I don't think that should be a thing, but, you know, you know, technology improves, war improves after, so watch out for that in mind. Yeah. 
Come on out. Again, I haven't played with Joker enough, so I don't know his real good move set. Just I know that. Oh goodness, I'm being owned by Rob. Ah. I'm gonna hit that burger. There we go. Come on now, I gotta take out Dr. Mario, get away from Rob. Oh boy, that was close. Come on now. Ah, oh, come on, Mario, just die already! Come on, Mario, we got this. And he's just he's seriously trying to avoid conflict, I'll tell you that much. Alright, let's take that Rob. Come on. This Rob, this, this Metal Gear thing is really annoying me. Bye bye. And Double Final Smash is kicking in. Bye, Dr. Mario. Huzzah! Time for some brutality, that's right. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That was an awesome finish. <laughs> you think Joker is not strong, eh? Well, that clearly shows it. Because more often than not, if your if your uh, percentage is over a hundred percent, and you use like those type of uh, final smashes, uh, those are almost like almost instant kill. So that will actually rule out in our favor on that one. <laughs> So what are we going up to next? Well, we need to get to that switch. Because I think we need to get to the power plant. I think that's what we need to get to. Oh, there's a dojo down there. That's the dojo I want. Let's head this way. Psyduck up next. Joker, you used your purpose. I think we go back to uh, Hero. Hero has not been played enough. Why not? We'll play as the Dragon Quest XI Hero. And we've got screen flip. Well, we got that Moria monitor guy that prevents that screen flip from flipping. Huzzah! He's then taking the form of Squirtle. Psyduck. That was like the most. That was like, you know, like the. What's that like the Pokemon that was like the most annoying in the anime? Who was it? Was it uh, Misty? Misty was her name, I think. That had her. Never had a Psyduck. They always come out the most inappropriate times needed. <laughs> Ooh, da! All right, that was cool. That was a cool chance move right there. I'll tell you what. And sword of the face, huzzah! PSI attack. So if you're using this or uh, what's the other guy's name? Dang it! Now I've messed it. <laughs> anyway, well. There are two uh, Earthbound characters, and if you use any of them, that's the attack you should use. I'll know. I'll know that name of that. I'll put a title on the card on on the video after the fact. <laughs> also, we're going into Nintendo Land apparently, because look, there's a GameCube. There's um. There's a GameCube. There's let's see. There's the N64, a Wii console over there, and the Nintendo 64 right there. <laughs> We're getting all over this place. Bomberman's up next, which is actually now a playable fighter. Thanks to the uh, Mii Fighter's costume. So, yeah, he's not just a spirit anymore. He is now a fighter. In spirit. I have no thinking that we could use. I haven't been in action very much for a while. Let's give, him, let's give myself a shot. Mouth of Curry, neutral specials, yes, please. Let's take this down. Toon Link, Bomberman. Let's do this. Ready? Go! That's his trophies because Bomberman comes up. Got watch out for his bombs, they're very deadly. Ooh, that's the that's the fake final smash. Avoid that like the plague. I lost myself. Oh, good. 
Oof, that wasn't bad. Oh, that, and he killed himself! Okay, good. The Tunic has not taken any damage. Oh man, that was not the best move in the bear. No! 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 Not again! Okay, third death. Continue. Rematch. I was actually doing pretty good until I did my side B and doomed myself. <laughs> Here we go. Let's try this. Round two. Ready? Go! Come on now. I'll use a. Uh, as many items as we can to take these guys down with ease. Bam! Take you down like that, baby. Oh! Look at that! Why is it always the second time's a charm? <laughs> that was a lot faster than I anticipated. All right, here we go. Doing that, though, thanks to defeating a Bomberman, we now have ability to break rocks now on the world map. Let's go see what that treasure chest entails for us. We've been waiting for that for a while now. Run on the walls! Let's go. <laughs> Boom! Bomber man, break open a rock. What do we get? We get Gyarados! Wow. Air attack. Never thought he'd just... It's just a Gyarados in a box. No worries. <laughs> a Gyarados who was originally, I think, was going to be a Dragon-type Pokemon, but decided to go just for water flying. Which really under... Un, 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 yeah, that's kind of sad for him, though. Oh, Jeff. We'll wait for him later. How much power is he? 13,000, yeah. We'll wait on Jeff for now. He's another powerful spirit. But let's get the, another master out of the way. Doc Lewis from, from Punch-Out. Little Max Trainer. Extraordinaire. I think no better in fact to fight Doc... <laughs> to, fight, to fight the Doc with a guy... with a person that can punch himself. Min Min, Min is coming back to the forefront, baby. Min Min, let's do some let's do some fighting here. What do we got? Stamina? Stamina battle? No problem about it. Let's do this! I do like the I I tried I tried Punch Out. It was just not the game I just couldn't get into. I could not get into it. I could just feel like it was just the, it's again it's another strategy fighting game. By technicality, so there we go. Take him down. Come on, little Mac. You're out of your prime, baby. Ooh, boy. Take that. Oh, he's got his KO move. That's very dangerous to if that contacts. That could almost be an instant KO. So be wary of that. Ooh, boy. Oh, he actually blocked it. He countered that. Wow, that's actually kind of shocking. Boom! You position yourself in a bad spot, buddy. Master Spirit Doc Lewis is ours. Doc Lewis. Uh, his uh, dojo, techn by technicality, is the best one in the game. Why? Because it allows you to level up spirits... Whenever you want. It's an actual gym. He trains spirits to be stronger. Train your primary spirits in the gym to raise their levels. You can leave them in the gym to grow while you're out adventuring. That's right. Looking good, baby. We can put up to four in here. So let's see. Level by level ascending. What's our, what's our good strong power we could have? We can have fist attack with spring man. Let's put him in there. Because he seems to be really strong at level 1, so if he gets a little, a little bit more powerful, we might be do some good. Lightweight for him. Let's get Grout on in there. 
crowd on is a little awkward, but you know, whatever. Let's see, what else spirits? We need a green spirit. But if you do put a, um, if there's an arrows you see in there, that means the attack is going to go down over time. It's not technically the most favorite of the bunch, so bear that in mind as you level up characters. We'll get Boom Boom in there, why not? We need a blue, we need a blue one in there, though. But all these spirits are not that strong, though. Barman, you'll be in there. Alright, we'll let them be. And probably by the next session, they'll be all level 99 by the end of the by the end of next week. <laughs> also, not bad at all. And while they are in there, you can't use them in battle, so they're stuck there. Well, you can leave. You can make them leave at any time, so bear that in mind. Oil Panic Game and Watch series. I remember this game from the the Advance series, which was like the Mario Game and Watch, where it had the Mario characters portraying themselves in this type in these types of games, which is actually pretty cool, in my honest opinion. Min Min's probably not a good choice for this, so let's move on to let's move on to someone we can. Minecraft. Hmm, maybe. Prompt plant. I want to like Minecraft Steve's gameplay, but he's not been performing very well for us. Especially in these fights that we've been seeing fit, so. Let's go. Piranha Plants up next. Mr. Game and Watch Team. The stage fighters are very slippery. Ready? Go! Let's we'll take a we'll keep our distance. See, that's what I like about Piranha Plant. He can actually attack from afar, and almost be and almost be just and just be safe. Come on, take that! Yeah, Piranha Plant did us. Oh, we got Sticky Floor Immunity. Yes, so we get any of that. We get any fights with that now. We can do that. We can now don't have to be. We don't have to worry about that at all. <laughs> All right, where are we going next? Tractor trailer from Stunt Race FX. Someone's favorite game? I have never played it. <laughs> I know it's on the SNES online. It's uh, those. Uh, it was. Those, it was another game powered by the Super FX chip. Again, I didn't grow up with an SNES, so I didn't have these access to these games. You know, the next console I got from the S from the NES was the Nintendo 64. So, by all accounts, I have not, I do not know anything of the most of the series that's in SNES library. Boom boy, come on, Piranha Plant, come on, you truck! A truck being defeated by a plant, baby! Huzzah! And that's how it's done. You guys the breaking ability by default, which means you don't you can stop on a dime almost instantaneously, despite the slippy four or something of that sort. It's not bad actually. We are getting close to the ending of our session tonight, so let's see if we can get to this fighter here and we'll probably there. Captain from Wild World. Captain's got two spirits this time around. Well no better reasoning to use the villager. To get Captain back into his on his feet, maybe I'll give him maybe a poncho or something after. Like here you go, poncho. That works. And we've got some, we got some. Oh, it's another stamina fight too. Hopefully we'll take him down with these. Host assist trophies will appear. This this assist trophy is a very annoying. It spawns a bus, and most likely you probably won't be able to get out of the bus very easily. And the bus follows you to the end of time. He wants to take you that bus to the next road. No, get out of there! Oof, it's tough to get out of that bus, though. Come on, out of the bus! I don't want to be part of the bus. <laughs> no. Yeah, this guy is. This bus is relentless. Boy, come on, Luigi! Why'd you just die already? Come on. 
Captain! Ah, oh, I got done in by the bus! Alright, villagers down, so we need to move into a fighter that can take Luigi down with quick effectiveness. I thought villager would do it, but it's not the case! Sword fighter, myself, is gonna have to take up the lead on that one. Let's fight! <coughs> Alright, let's do this bad boy. Get right up in there. Come on, get out of the bus, out of the bus. It's, it's the bus. I hate this bus. Come on, th look, come on. That bus is annoying. It's a, it's the most annoying. I say it's probably one of the more annoying assist, assist trophies of all time. Come on, get out of the... Curse this bus. <laughs> I wish that bus would stop coming around. Gotta kill to gotta take this bus down. For really this time. Oh boy. That bus just needs to go away. <laughs> no let go! Oh what? Oh, I survived that somehow. Oh boy. Oh goodness. Come on, me fighter. You can do this. Booyah! I am not going on that bus. <laughs> Booyah! That bus is dead. <laughs> Curse the bus. <laughs> Alright, it's time to see where this fighter is. It's the Inkling! And that building is actually more a tower, so by all ten cow, it's actually pretty cool. That's actually a neat reference. Alright. Let's take them down. Let's take the Inkling down, and then we can use them to help us out. As you know, if you've watched my channel long enough, you know I've been doing the Splatoon 2 multi -fest. If you want to join in on those, those are so much fun to be with. Also, that at the time of this uh, of this going up on the channel, which will most likely be in December, at most. So bear that in mind. But that would but there'll be the Splatfest for the Halloween event again. The second Hall the Splatoween is going to be happening this next week. So that's going to be a fun little challenge. I hope you choose the right teams, and that was a very fun match. It's, woo ya! The Inkling is ours. And Inkling now joins the battle at long last. Huzzah! But with that, folks, we're gonna see what we can do with our spirit orbs, our uh, skill spears. See what we can use. What can we use next? Uh, we got 50 of the things. Landing lag. Yeah, let's do that. Landing lag gone. We'll use that now. So, with that said. That's going to do it for this session of, uh, for the YouTube exit. That's going to do it for this session. Next time, we'll be tackling more of this city as much as we can and seeing what else that we can help and see if we can get to that button. But until then, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys around for another round of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light Revisit.